I love the way everybody comes in and leave a piece of themselves here. And you know, the first person to sign this floor was Mayor Ray Nagin. It's sort of, some of it is out now, but you see this right there, Mayor Nagin. And you can walk around and see all kinds of inspirations. If I sort of start feeling down, I can come out here and I can just step anywhere in here and I get inspirations from my clients saying, keep going. Look at this beautiful cat. For somebody to take time and do this is, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. This space was needed because African Americans have a voice and there was no space here in New Orleans for that voice. And the other thing is I think that for my people, for black people, they should have the expectations that when they walk in a gallery, they should see themselves and they can see themselves in this space. These works in here are actually a part for uh, 300 years of African American contributions to Louisiana history. With the slaves being marched into the South and somebody say, well, why did you put that up there? Because that's part of our history. This is a really nice piece of art and I guess I shouldn't say nice because it's a slave ship. And the artist named it Gold Weight because they were worth their weight in gold. And little kids come in here and they see this and it evokes a lot of questions. They say, well, kids were slaves too? Yes, kids were slaves too. You know, this gallery has been around 23 years because of everybody else. It's a testament to every artist who's put art on this wall and trusting us. Black people have been coming for 23 years and I'm proud to say that I've introduced a great amount of diversity to downtown New Orleans. Mm -hmm.